Imagine a world where global giants line up to collaborate with Indian companies to build the future of air combat. Well, you can stop imagining. The future is already here. And at the center of it all is Aero India. Have you ever wondered how Aero India started, who initiated it, and why is this event crucial for India's defense and aviation industry? Let's deep dive into the fascinating history, impact, and future of Aero India. Aero India is one of Asia's biggest air shows and aerospace exhibitions, held every two years in Bengaluru, India. The event attracts major global defense companies, air forces, and industry leaders to showcase their latest technologies and strike multi-billion dollar defense deals. But to understand why this event is so significant, we need to rewind to 1996, the year Aero India was born. Aero India was launched by the Ministry of Defense, Government of India, and is organized by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, and Defense Exhibition Organization. Why was it started? Before 1996, India was heavily dependent on foreign defense imports. The government wanted to create a platform where India could showcase its indigenous defense capabilities and encourage global partnerships. This was the time when India had just started opening up its economy and there was a need to boost its domestic defense sector. Additionally, India wanted to develop self-reliance in defense and reduce dependency on foreign arms suppliers, which was becoming a strategic necessity. So the objective of Aero India is to establish India as a global aerospace and defense manufacturing hub and to attract foreign investments into the sector. How many events have been held so far? As of 2025, Aero India has successfully hosted 15 editions, with the latest being the most advanced and strategically important one yet. The previous editions have seen participation from industry giants like Boeing, Lockheed Martin, Dassault Aviation, and Indian players like HAL, DRDO, and Bharat Electronics Limited. Over the years, Aero India has evolved from a simple air show to a global aerospace marketplace, bringing together major defense companies and policymakers. Aero India has been instrumental in shaping India's defense industry. It brought in a significant boost in Make in India. Deals like the production of Tejas LCA, the Rafale offset agreements, and upcoming AMCA fighter jets have been a result of Aero India's networking and collaborations, an increase in defense exports. From barely 1,500 crore rupees in 2016, India's defense exports have grown to over 16,000 crore rupees in 2023, and events like Aero India have played a crucial role in this growth. The 2021 edition alone saw major defense deals worth 48,000 crore rupees, including UAV technology collaborations and fighter jet production agreements. It helped set up international collaborations. Countries like the US, France and Israel have signed major defense contracts at Aero India, strengthening India's geopolitical alliances. This year's Aero India is the biggest and most strategic edition since its establishment. The event had the highest ever international participation, with over 900 exhibitors, including 150 foreign companies. India's next generation fighter jets, like the AMCA and Tejas MK2, will take center stage. These aircraft represent the future of Indian air combat and showcase the country's growing capabilities in indigenous fighter production. There is a strong focus on cutting-edge defense technologies, including indigenous drones, AI-driven systems, and advancements in space defense. These innovations will play a crucial role in shaping the future of modern warfare. Live demonstrations highlight futuristic air combat systems featuring hypersonic weapons and state-of-the-art electronic warfare suites. These technologies are set to redefine how battles are fought in the skies. Aero India 2025 is also emphasizing India's push for self-reliance in defense production. The government aims to boost domestic manufacturing and reduce dependency on foreign arms suppliers. To encourage innovation, special zones are dedicated to defense startups and MSMEs. These companies will have a platform to showcase groundbreaking military technologies, opening doors for collaboration and investment. Global defense giants are set to make a strong presence at Aero India 2025. Boeing will showcase its powerful F-15 EX fighter jets and advanced Apache helicopters, highlighting its commitment to modern air combat. Lockheed Martin will bring the F-21 fighter jet and the C-130J Hercules transport aircraft, both designed to enhance air mobility and strike capabilities. Dassault Aviation will present the Rafale M, a naval variant tailored for the Indian Navy, reinforcing India's maritime air power.
India's own DRDO will unveil its upcoming stealth drones and space defense systems, marking a major leap in indigenous military technology. HAL will showcase the Tejas MK2 fighter jet and the highly anticipated CATS warrior drone, both key to India's future combat strategy. Israeli defense firms will demonstrate cutting-edge AI-based combat systems, pushing the boundaries of autonomous warfare. Russian manufacturers will display their next-generation Su-57 and Su-75 fighter jets, bringing advanced stealth and maneuverability to the spotlight. European firms will focus on next-gen electronic warfare and cyber defense solutions, strengthening India's digital and battlefield security. Aero India 2025 isn't just an exhibition. It's shaping the future of India's defense and global security. India is moving from being a defense importer to becoming a major exporter. Indigenous defense production is at the heart of this transformation. The government is targeting more than 70% indigenous defense procurement by 2030, strengthening self-reliance. Countries like France, the US, Russia, Israel and the UK are working with India to co-develop next-generation defense systems. These collaborations give India access to cutting-edge technology and a stronger global position. Aero India 2025 is expected to facilitate over 200 MOUs, leading to multi-billion dollar investments. The event will also drive job creation and economic growth. India's defense sector has already created over 2.5 lakh jobs. And Aero India will open more opportunities in manufacturing, R&D and tech innovation. Small and medium enterprises SMEs, in defense manufacturing will gain international exposure, boosting India's economy. Technology is another key focus area. India is advancing in AI-powered drones, hypersonic missiles and space-based defense. Aero India 2025 will highlight breakthroughs in UAVs, electronic warfare and next-gen security systems. Aero India isn't just about showcasing technology, it's about securing India's future in global defense. What do you think will be the biggest highlight of Aero India 2025? Let us know in the comments.